today a number of new people are being welcomed as lay workers in different worshipping communities. Today would have been the day that each of them would have been ordained in the cathedral, but sadly, due to current restrictions, that is not able to take place. However, this is still the start of a new chapter as each of these lay workers comes to minister with you and alongside you. Deacons are called to a life of self-giving and each of these deacons-to-be are already living that as they walk the path ahead. I'm hoping that ordinations will be able to take place in the autumn, hopefully in September, but nothing can be planned until the government announced that we can gather together once more for public worship. And of course, when the ordinations do take place, uh, they are likely to be very small gatherings. I'm hoping still in the cathedral, but there will be a number of restrictions in place. And sadly, we won't all be able to gather together for those ordinations. I do hope, though, that you, in your own context, will plan a special service uh, following those ordinations, perhaps even where the new deacon's family and friends can be present as they won't all be able to gather in the cathedral for those services. As these wonderful new deacons begin their ministry with you, it is poignant to remember that deacons are called to be heralds of Christ's kingdom, to proclaim the gospel in word and deed as agents of God's purposes of love, to search out the poor and weak, the sick and lonely, and those who are oppressed and powerless, reaching into the forgotten corners of the world that the love of God may be made visible. I think those words are particularly poignant and meaningful as we continue to be the church in these extraordinary times. So thank you for the ways that you are sharing Christ's love and hope as individuals and together as the body of Christ. I pray that it will not be too long until we can see one another face to face once more. But in the meantime, God bless you as this new chapter of ministry begins in your worshipping communities with a deacon to be.